Excuse me. Yes. So let's get started. As many of you know, my mom is a liberal Democrat and sends me texts during the show critiquing my performance. Yes. Text one. <laughs> when you are good, you are so very, very good. And when there is a performance like last night's, I become so distraught that you have moved ever closer to that imaginary line that cannot be crossed. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> I have delighted in your more measured and thoughtful language and approach to issues these last months, and I've said that to you. So then I began to wonder, is this mean Mondays? Because this only happens on Mondays. <laughs> so true. Good is she right? Great. Yes. I am tired of the Fox and Friends fellow. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you <laughs> Number four. Enough. Think about how to make the world a better place. <laughs> and lastly, all I can say is thank God for Juan Williams. Really, Jesse? <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So my mom's a celebrity now. She gets into the green room, and everyone's like, I heard she's in the green room. Can I go yes. meet her? Yeah, she's pretty great. I know, and most of them are very complimentary of you, Dana. And Gutfeld, when she says your name correctly, yes. she does think you're interesting. <laughs> well, I, th I think it is, but it, what this does <laughs> is it, funny. It, people are surprised that you are actually born. You came from human beings. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> does this humanize me, Gutfeld? It, barely. Yes. <laughs> but yes. My goodness. Thank yes. you. All right. Um, Here's a special one. I think someone is going to like this one. Number three. As usual, Dana provided wisdom and big think. <laughs> My mom is your biggest fan. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. You know what that says about you, Dana? What? Hmm. Oh. Um, yeah, I know. An endorsement <laughs> from my mom might not go over too well with our audience. Um, how about this one? This, you might remember this from two weeks ago. Number one. Please apologize to your colleagues. And I mean with genuine remorse. <laughs> for the horrific judgment you showed in airing your Santa video. Be a great deal more careful, Jesse. Everyone is replaceable except Santa. That's when I showed Aww. Santa skydiving. That was really Oh, something. yeah. Oh, yeah it was so upsetting. So, and now he's showing it again. So yeah. I'm very sorry. And I think Kimberly will like this one. OK. Please don't become a talking head that is predictable and thin. Your colleagues roll their eyes <laughs> and groan aloud with their pregame knowledge of what your position and point is going to be. Do you guys really do that? Yes. No. There are some faces. I've noticed I've picked up on a few things. Yes. That's there are what some that faces. is. Yes, being right. made. You know what? Well, I, we, our, our, our eyes roll with love. Yes. Okay. That's what my mom says. All right. Yeah, I don't want to read the last one. Oh, Honey Bun, we are so proud of you and your accomplishments, <laughs> you. and you've worked so hard. Now let's aim to have you keep your job. And <laughs> to that end, I do have some suggestions. Okay. Do not tumble into any conspiracy rabbit holes. We <laughs> do not want to lose you, and we want no lawsuits. Okay. In, use your voice responsibly to promote conversation that maintains a narrative thread. There, there really has been enough Biden bashing, and the laptop <laughs> is old. Perhaps you could suggest that your people take less interest, for example, in other people's bodies, and talk about that. 